It's me, Luna TK, and today I am back with another miraculous reaction. Today's episode is Star Train. I like the title. It sounds interesting. Star Train. I'm going to assume that this happens on a train. Maybe it's like a conductor that gets akumatized. Is there like the same type of thing as like flight stewardess but like a in like train form <laughs> like a flight attendant but like is there the same thing as like a flight attendant for like trains i don't know i don't really go on a train very often i don't think there would be i don't know there's not really it's probably like somebody who like works at the rail station or something like that i don't know like are there subways in paris there are subways hmm i guess there's really only one way to find out. I've got my favorite snack and my favorite beverage right here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this ready and then we shall watch the next miraculous reaction. I'm gonna spill this on my keyboard. So without further ado, let's get to it. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Oh, that's cool. Aw. <laughs> He's thinking totally differently. <laughs> I love him. He's such a funny character. Mmm. This is pretty early on, I think. Oh, but he's already been akumatized before. He's been Robocop. Well, this is disappointing. <laughs> okay, so may maybe it will hit somebody else. Mm! It's gonna be her. Can't say I blame him. Mm. Okay, yeah. It's definitely gonna be her. No. Oh boy. Aww. What a cute relationship. Oh jeez. <laughs> Silly. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. That's actually a really cute outfit. I hate to say that I love her outfit, but I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. She's ridiculous. Poor Sabrina. I don't know why she puts up with her. That's right. <laughs> okay, I guess those are the train stewardesses. That's high tech, man. They're like playing Uno. I love Uno. Oh, They're so cute. Oh, Lila. Why is she here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Markov. Come on, stopping, Cece, Adrian. 
She's such an. Oh, she's awesome. Back to like, oh, oh, everybody's just staring. Oh, God. go away. Ew, yes, please help her get her away. Ha ha. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh, there it is. Totally didn't pay attention to that before. Oh my gosh. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh oh. Where'd it go? What are you doing? Mm -mm. Oh boy. Oh my god, I would freak out. Oh my gosh. Although I think it would take much longer than that to get into the space. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Are we gonna get maybe one of those little like macaroons and she'll finally use one of those like in space? Oof. That's quite the Swimming through the air under the sea. Under the sea. We didn't know you were going to be here. Otherwise, we would have for sure. Sorry, Chloe. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Oh, I want to see what she like really looks like. I'm sure she doesn't want to like hurt her son. It look like a bell. What is that? Is that a helmet? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, cool! Aww. Cool! I didn't know he was gonna get a miraculous. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! She's so sassy! Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't wait to see this transformation. <laughs> oh, cool. Yo! 
I love this music. Wow. Wow, that's really cool. Oh boy. That's so cool. I didn't realize he was going to get a Miraculous. This is awesome. Oh, that's cool. So he's able to kind of like think quick. Well, he's really smart, so I guess that makes sense. Wow, that's awesome. Oh boy. Wow. Voyant, that's cool. Wow! His attacks are wicked cool. Yo! <laughs> Well, at least that can happen. That was awesome. He was so cool. That's awesome. Aww. Oh. Aww. Aww, that's so cute. Isn't feeling that was your first and last field trip? <laughs> Poor Adrian. <laughs> Aww. That was so good. I said this last episode too, but like, that was cool. Okay, wait, what was his superpower name? Like, hold on. What was his hero name? Cause that was awesome. Like this is such a cool transformation. I have to just watch it again. Man, this is awesome. That's awesome. I love the like, that's amazing. He looks so cool. Like that is the coolest. Did they say what his name was? I don't know if they said what his name was. It doesn't look like they're saying what his name is. Maybe that's why I didn't remember what it was. I love that he has a boomerang. Like, that's cool to me. But they don't actually say, like, what his superpower name, like, what his, what his superhero name is. I'm like, I'm just totally rewatching the end of this episode. Cause... Oh, Pegasus. Okay, that must be his name. That like, was the first time they said anything. Like, that, that's so cool. Like, I love the movements in his attack and in his transformation. They're wicked cool. Wow. Okay. All right, so there's that. Okay, so <laughs> it is kind of interesting that, like, in la the last episode, it seemed like Luca and Adrian, when they used the Snake Miraculous, they kind of gave a name to themselves as a superhero. But in this case, it seems like he already had a name, like Pegasus? So I don't know if that's like an inconsistency thing or it's like maybe a moment I missed. I don't know. I tried watching it again, but it doesn't seem like there was any moment where he actually said like what his name was, except that like, and like, it's like kind of blink and you miss it. Like you wouldn't, otherwise you wouldn't know what his name is. That is a little strange to me, but other than that, like, wow. I had no idea we were going to get another Miraculous in this episode. So that was really exciting. I wonder if we're going to get like more superheroes throughout the rest of the episode, like the rest of the episodes in this season. Because if that's the case, that's really fun. I mean, it, it's kind of weird that they're giving, it seems like they're giving Miraculous just to kind of like just about anybody. I feel like at the end of this, just like everybody in their class is going to have a Miraculous. I don't 100% know how I feel about that. It seems like now it's just kind of like miraculous here, miraculous there, like la. And I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with Alia and Nino having miraculouses. Heck, I'm even fine with Chloe having some, like a miraculous. But now it seems like it's kind of like, I mean, I like, I don't know. I don't know. It, it is cool to see all the different powers. What would be cool is like in like the end of the series, having like a huge big battle with like, all of the heroes and stuff like if that's what they're ramping it up to be then that's pretty cool like i would love to see like one big battle when all of the class is using like all their powers like all together and fighting 
like hawk moth or whatever at the very end like that would be pretty cool so that's that's cool I, I like this I like the fact that we got a character again like that we haven't seen that they're starting to kind of show us more people um, Max's mom in this episode I was right I was kind of right in my prediction I actually was able to make a prediction based off of this oh my gosh that moment with Adrian and Marinette like he like she like leaned on his she like fell asleep on his shoulder and like he like smiled guys did you see that he like smiled and leaned onto her and like come on he has feelings for her he just doesn't know it it drives me crazy they will eventually be together but it still drives me crazy and like I love just Alia she's just constantly doing things for Marinette to like put those two together in like a situation like hey you know I want to sit with Nino for a few minutes could be strange spaces and stuff and like Adrian's so cool with it it's so cute and Lila was there but like she was taken care of like I'm so glad we didn't really have to deal with her too much in this episode like that makes me happy Chloe was hysterical <laughs> She likes being a superhero, and I don't know if it's just because she likes just kind of being show-offy, or if part of her really just genuinely... I feel like she kind of wants to feel important, but not just because of the fact that she's got a big ego. I think it's more so like because of her home life, like her mom and stuff, her mom doesn't pay enough attention to her, so I feel like she's constantly as a character just looking for validation from other people. Even her dad, like he just buys her all these things, but what she really needs is to feel good about herself. Not just like a, oh, I'm beautiful or like whatever, but more of like an internal, I have significance kind of thing. And uh, I used to not like Chloe, but ever since they had like her arc last season of her becoming Queen Bee, like I have actually a lot more of appreciation for her, especially since now we have other characters to compare her to that are way worse. <coughs> Lila. Yeah, I just, I think, I think she's actually a lot more tolerable as a character, especially since they're not using her as much as a trope every single episode. I think the series has started to really take that whole formula they were using the first season, even the second season, of her kind of being the reason that other people are getting upset. I'm glad that they have broken out of that pattern because it makes Chloe's character more tolerable and even more fun at times, even if she's still kind of a jerk. I, that was total random Chloe rant, which really didn't have much to do with this episode. But like I said, I really like that transition transformation. The transformations that they're having for these new characters so far are really good. There's something about like the motions that they're making and like there's some sort of like really good detail about that. I, like, I could watch them over and over again. They're very good. And then I love that attack that Max used and like the motions he did that too. That was not the motion he did but you know what I mean. Yeah it was just that was cool. That was cool. Don't spoil it but I really want to know who ends up getting the bunny miraculous. I am so excited to meet that little Miraculous character because I feel like personally if I had a Miraculous, I don't even know what the accessory is for the bunny, but I would totally want a bunny Kwame. I love bunnies, so I can't wait to see what that one's going to be, but I guess we'll see in the future. And the only way to get to the future is to continue watching more of these episodes, right? I don't really have much else to say other than that. Until next time, my name is Luna TK, and I hope you guys have a awesome day. Bye! Do I have... My hands is like covered in like butter. Bye! Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's plenty of ways to show it. You can give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or ring the bell for notifications. You can also follow me at LunaT93 for updates, and you can check out previous content right there. Until next time.